Last night, the FCA States Grocery Duck Dynasty Night, an event you can see Tuesday at 11 p.m. here on TV44 in its entirety. We gave out the 6th Annual John Reed Leadership Award, celebrating a local high school football coach who's demonstrated Christian character, humility, discipline, life mentoring, leadership, passion, and a pursuit of excellence on and off the field. The 2014 winner, Tim Goodwin, did the honors. It's my honor to present uh, this year's John Reed Award winner. Uh, as Andy said, Coach Reed, longtime successful coach at Coldwater. Um, I personally had the, I guess, the privilege of coaching against um, Coach Reed's teams. Uh, you know, some of the things that Andy mentioned on the plaque, uh, confidence, poise, um, all his, his teams were, you, you just couldn't rattle them, and it was just a reflection of, of John Reed. Um, he was an inspiration uh, to me personally, um, when he coached, and also really as he battled his illness and, and how he handled it. So it's quite an honor for me to be up here uh, introducing the 2015 winner. Um, and the, the 2015 winner is Coach Mike Reams from St. Mary's. <laughs> Mike is a graduate of Waynesfield, Goshen, and it was also an assistant football coach at ONU in Ur Urbana before coming to St. Mary's. He has been coaching for 15 years as an assent assistant to Coach Doug Fry. Congratulations, Coach Ream. All right. You didn't want anyone to know about this, did you? <laughs> oh, no, I, I try to keep it as big of a secret as possible. So, um, Except for my wife, I told her, and then she kind of blabbed it out. So thank you. So. <laughs> We also started Fellowship of Christian Athletes at St. Mary's back in the old high school when you had like two or three people or not too many. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 15 years ago. Um, um, yeah, our very first meeting, I had me and two kids sitting across the shop table. I'm a shop teacher. And uh, that was back when uh, uh, FCA really kind of got its first kick. Uh, Joe Pant was still at Van Wert, and uh, the WBL was starting to take off. And then through those years, you know, we started seeing some, you know, things plateau out. But... Uh, there's a lot of good things. I mean, as we just saw just a few hours ago um, in the closed session with Alan Lisa, I mean, there's some awesome coaches we have. Speaking to the WOSN audience, speaking to coaches out there, what would you say to them? Is, you know, you get down on yourself, you, you hear from the community on those tough years. How would you encourage them tonight? Um, you know, it's something that we say almost weekly uh, at St. Mary's, and, and again, Alan Lisa said the exact same thing, so it's kind of re reassuring to hear what they had to say and, and relate their lifestyle with the way coaches' lifestyle is. is um, you know, you will have your critics out there, but, and you'll have people that will praise you, and you got to just keep yourself humble because you're never quite as good as you think you are and never quite as bad as you think you are. Um, you're always somewhere in between, and, and like I said, you know, the sun's going to rise tomorrow, so you just show up um, and get back to work, and we've been – real blessed uh, both FCA wise and, and football wise is when you get it takes more it's just not one person doing it I mean it's the people you let you surround yourself with and, you know a head coach like uh, coach Goodwin can attest to this is it's the staff and the people that you surround yourself with and like I said, I've been blessed with uh, gentlemen like Steve Stroh and, and, uh, and a lot of the faces out here that's, that's helped out the St. Mary's FCA be successful um, we have uh, great student leadership and uh, you know that we can invest in we uh, we don't have a lot of seniors involved this year but we have a very strong junior group and uh, you know it, it makes things real easy for you so awesome well thanks for doing what you're doing congratulations the sixth john reed leadership award winner mike reams